Yeah, that should be deep enough. Welcome back, everyone. So, I noticed that I completely forgot to update my checklist last episode, but I did indeed find a new home site and build a new house. Now, for this episode, we're going to work on some thomic alchemy so we can make an equal trade wand focus. We're also going to get on with a little bit of industrial craft for which we need to acquire some rubber trees so we can build a generator and generate some energy units. We're also going to start a tower on this base, which is after all just the base. I have ideas. You'll see. By the way, you've probably noticed I've been shifting texture packs around. I'm looking for a new favorite. This episode is the Chroma Hills texture pack on top of the Faithful FTV pack. I'll keep trying more packs in future episodes. I've already set up an alchemical furnace so I can distill Essentia with Essentia Distillation. Next, since I really don't want to flux the place up with alchemy, we're going to work on some alchemical apparatus. and pipes and I think I need this extra research for the automatic cauldron so And pipe plus lever. By the way, I dug a little hole. I put the chunk loader I paid for last episode in there, so all the stuff I want to keep loaded will go in here, if not directly above. Now, where was I? Oh yeah, sticks for levers. All right, I finished the alchemical doohickeys off camera, and magic. Magic. Oh, magic. Magic? Hmm. No magic. Let me check my notes. I might still be missing research, but I may just need more V in my wand. 
I think I'll go hunting for V first. Seems as if aura nodes are a little harder to find than they used to be. By the way, I've added this client mod called Node Tracker. Check it out. It gives you a list of all the nodes you've ever scanned. And you can select the aspects you're looking for. And it gives you a little compass to find the one you've marked. 317 meters. There it is. Hmm. I get the pretty effect, but I can't actually draw any Essentia from inside the boat. There, that's better. Hey, I was using that. I suppose this is the time to mention clear lag. It helps to decrease lag on the server by deleting unwanted entities. Sadly, it can also delete wanted entities, like boats, the ore you haven't picked up, and any mobs you might want to keep. Opinions differ on whether it's worth it, but it's the server owner that has to make the call. It would be a lot more aggravating if I actually had to swim back. Oh well. TD teleportation time. So, more V in the wand, and... Magic. Magic. Magic, magic, magic. Well, drat. Back to the research table. Excuse me while I go hunt down a chicken. So, after two solid real-life days of not finding a chicken, Wizard Pie shared his research with me, which includes automated alchemy. I just need a little more Ordo in my wand to activate it, so I'll go get that. Although I may want to wait until morning. Yeah, definitely in the morning. Dread it all. You know, 
These silver leaf nodes are really tiny. And magic. I've got Essentia boiling up right now, so while that's going on, I can check on my rubber tree crop. Speaking of which... It was actually pretty easy to find both kinds of rubber trees. They were all over the swamp in which I started, so that was nice. Darn fish room. One does not simply walk past it. Okay. Excuse me while I cook this rubber up. Batteries. Furnace. Iron plates. And I need a new hammer. Wrong hammer. Better.
Iron Furnace. And Generator. Right here should do for now. And the pleasant hum means I'm getting energy units. <laughs> Meanwhile, I've got the Essentia and Shards get together to make balanced shards. All I should need to do is light it up. Seems to have stopped. Just not running. Why is that? Let me try shifting things around a bit. Thank you. 
This is really frustrating. Oh, the fire went out. I figured coal would just burn for a long time until it was consumed like wood, but for much longer. Doesn't seem to be the case. And off it goes. Except for the Ignis. Now what? Maybe it doesn't like that pipe location? I bet it'll work better with a catalyst in there. Well, maybe it won't.
Ah! Who just leaves holes in his floor? Okay, that's four. Now, Quicksilver and Nether Quartz. I really need to organize my storage. Alright, I got the recipe together and all I need is more Ordo. I really need to come up with a better way to charge my wand. Ten and a half. That should do it. And there we go. Let's play with it a little. Marble sounds good. Sweet. I'm going to need more juice to make it useful, though.
Yep, I'm out of Ordo again. I really need to do something about that. But, I got the focus. Alright, we're ready for the building portion of our show. I'm not going to go full tower just yet. I'm thinking more of a diamond cathedral sort of thing. It's kind of hard to explain, so I'll just show you what I mean. Tempest Fugit. I think it came out fairly decent. Not amazing, but decent. By the way, that's supposed to be an infinity symbol, not glasses on the happy face.
At any rate, it will benefit greatly from a lot of detail which we'll be adding in later episodes. But all the same, ladies and gentlemen, I give you Infinity Tower. A lot of interior decorating will happen as well, but the natural lighting came out nicely, wouldn't you say? Well, that about wraps it up for today, folks. Next episode, we'll be looking for better armor and a better way to charge a wand. Instead of building, we'll work on beautifying what we have, so lots of interior and exterior decorating. If you like the show, by all means, click the like, and if you hated it, by all means, leave a comment. Come see me next episode, and until then, have a nice day.